hey guys welcome welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be doing bandu knots out and if you're interested in seeing this video please keep on watching i am starting out with clean stretch out hair and to soften the hair i am spraying it with water I'm going to section my hair to make it easy for me to style and I'm going to work in small sections at a time. I'm using the LOC method to moisturize and style and the leave-in conditioner of choice today is the Aunt Jackie's Quench Moisture Intensive Leave-In Conditioner. I'm just coating this on that section and making sure to get every strength. And I'm going to follow that with the African Pride Growth Oil. Lastly, I'm going to apply the Aunt Jackie's Seal It Up Hydrating Sealing Butter. Then I'm going to detangle my hair using a detangler brush to make sure that the hair doesn't have any knots. Then I'll proceed to do two string twist. And then I'm going to twist again before wrapping the hair into a knot. I hope I'm making sense. I'm trying to show how I'm doing this, but it's really simple. You do your twist and then you twist the strand that you have again, and then you wrap it around or you tie it around into a knot until you get into the last strands of your hair or until you get into the end of your hair. Because our ends tend to be dry, I just go back with the sealing butter to make sure that the hair has enough moisture. I'm going to repeat the same process, apply the leave-in, oil and cream, then also detangle and then do the two strand twist. I kind of struggled wrapping this twist or this part of the hair into a knot because it was too thick. It took me a while for it to stay into a knot. After this, I just started making small twist strands to make it easier for me to tie them into knots. And this is how the hair looks like when I am done. And to keep the knots in place overnight, I am going to wear a certain scarf to bed. Mm -hmm. 
Now it's the next day and it is time to take them down. I am going to apply a bit of the oil to minimize the frizz. And now I am going to gentle unravel the knots. The curls were surprisingly tight and I didn't expect that because I didn't feel I did a great job in doing the knots. Now I'm gently separating the curls Once I'm done, I'm going to use an afro comb to lift the hair and close the lines. And to get more volume, I went in with the tail of a small comb. And finally, I'm going to lay my edges with the God to be glue gel. this is it this is how the final results look i decided just to keep it simple to keep it into an afro looking type of hairstyle because that's what that's the look that i was going for and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video um if you did please remember to give it a big thumbs up comment down below let me know what you think of this hairstyle and subscribe to my channel for more hair content if you're not subscribed i will catch you guys on my next video bye